Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about Revit API for Revit 25 and this new feature that is really interesting. So right now you can uh, create a custom uh, right click button in here and execute any command you want like that. This is my sample. So yeah, if I click here, just going to show the version of my Revit, the same thing as this one. And yeah, and let's take a look. Uh, in the code, uh, how that works. And if you go in my sample, and in here, this is the new uh, method to create to register a context menu. Uh, if I go in here and take a look in that, I, I need a full class name. Actually, this should be uh, renamed for the title. That's in the title that's gonna appear uh, in here. Yeah, that is the name and you need an interface to register inside uh, Revit. And here's my uh, here's the my class and I have this eye context menu that's the interface. This is gonna be this build context menu go, gonna be call call or requested uh, every time you right click in here. So yeah, every time you're gonna create a menu from, from scratch. So yeah, the right click in here gonna show again gonna be requested again actually and yep and I'm doing uh, a interesting stuff to disable when I shut down because I'm working with Revit open so yeah I'm enable this method so when this call and this is gonna be false you're gonna return from from that so I'm not gonna add any button so if I clear this project, this is going to be removed and I'm not going to have that uh, menu in that. So yeah, you can disable uh, with something like that. And inside uh, this build context menu, you have uh, this context menu uh, class and you can add items in the menu items uh, type. And you can create a command that require basically the same thing as a push button. You need a name and a full class uh, object for a command and the location as well. And you, you can add a set availability as well. So you can disable in some, uh, some place if, if you want. And you can add a separator in here as well. And you can add a submenu uh, like this to create a context menu directly and add a submenu like that in here, actually. Yep, I'm adding this and then in that. So yeah, that's basically how uh, this works in a nutshell, I guess. And I'm probably gonna create a, a class like, like this one. So to make more easily to work in my uh, API, so yeah my library. So, uh, so for example, if I create, let's create a new uh, command in here, just to show. Uh, uh, let me think. Um, selection, yep. Something like this. And let's add uh, interface as well, direct in here. And let's add, um, let me think, something like this, return selection dot get element ID dot uh, con, oh boy, cont bigger than zero. Yeah, not, I'm not gonna add anything. Fencing in that, I kind of already have a extension, I guess. I did, I did an extension. Let's use that. I already did a pretty simple extension here. Let's use that. It's gonna be a little, simpler to work with. Uh, I just have a create a common menu that I can uh, add uh, 
external command or uh, external command. Uh, yeah, and I have other options in here. So menu and uh, create separator could be add anyway. Uh, yeah, let's remove everything in here. We don't need that. And let's go and menu menu dot uh, create. Uh, separator commands yeah this one commands dot uh, command selection yep and I need a name uh, need a selection yeah so let's try that and for right clicking here uh, I'm gonna need the selection and so if select this I guess right click and now I can click that. Let's let's force to delete everything, I guess, just for fun. ID full and uh, for each, I guess, actually not. Click the transaction, delete our uh, document. Delete uh, my selection get element IDs. This should work by default. Yeah, uh, let's create a wall in here. Wall. Yeah. So clicking here and yep yeah, and gone. Yeah, that's basically how this works. Kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, one thing I I kind of miss is I cannot add uh, something similar like like the browser like this checkbox, so I cannot add that in here. But I can change the name actually. I can change the name on the fly, I guess, uh, like like what I was doing before. Like if I add something like this. Plus plus, yep. I can change the name on the fly when I create that. So now I have zero in here, and now I have uh, one, yeah. And when I right click again, two, and so on. And every time, I'm gonna appear one, yeah. And if you want to write, you can uh, force uh, some something like this, yeah. Or for example, if I add bigger than two, uh, return, yeah. Or this is just a sample, so yeah. So you have zero, and I have one, and after that you're gonna be two, and don't have any more, yeah. That's basically how this works. I'm gonna put this in the description, in my GitHub or something, and yeah, I'm probably gonna use this inside my my package, my library. Yeah, so I don't need to copy these uh, thing projects. Anyway, so yeah, but you can use whatever you want. So that's it for this video. Uh, I don't know if you have any other features that interesting to talk about. That's the most interesting one uh, about the Revit API in this new version so yeah if you like this video don't forget to give a thumbs up if you get any question give a comment that don't forget to subscribe thank you bye bye